Are you satisfied with transparency in the federal government? I think the federal government is doing their best. I think there have been some missteps, but um, I think they are being transparent. I am from British Columbia. Uh, Dr. Bonnie Henry is extremely transparent with us, and I wish the rest of the country all the best. No, I, I don't find that they're being transparent. I find that uh, even the, the, the processes of how those decisions are made, the, the science behind it, I think that it's, it's worth further discussion. I don't necessarily think there's a conspiracy, I just think that it's worth further discussion. Yes, I am, because no matter who would have been in power, it's a big thing to deal with. It, and it, was, it came on, on upon us so quickly that I think that they're not doing too bad but I think they need to get together to deal with it. <laughs> I haven't been really satisfied with the transparency of any government <laughs> um, that I've voted for or not voted for. So um, I, I think there's times when they don't tell the public things because they can't or shouldn't um, due to you know backlash out of context or whatever, or it gets used against them. Um, and that, that said, um, you know, they probably keep things secret that they really shouldn't either to protect themselves. So uh, it's a bit of a, I don't know, catch-22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I have a different perspective on it, though. I think that they've done a lot of work to put out the information if you want it. But I think uh, if you don't want it, then you don't have to go find it. But I think they've given us enough information, for sure. It feels like there's always an agenda that comes out a little bit later. You know, something that we're not hearing about and then something else comes up a little later and just like the opening of the border, so to speak, right? The border was closed, closed, closed and all of a sudden, boom, you know, within two weeks it's open and nobody knows why. I am. I think it's really good to be um, aware of the science behind it. Um, I'm a science student and I think that um, population should be aware of what goes on in the vaccines because it has a direct effect on us. and. Um, Science is for everyone, so so everyone should know. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, there's, I guess there's certain things they can't tell us and they won't tell us, but, you know, I think I'm, I, I keep myself informed. I think I know what's happening out there, so, you know, I can kind of read between the lines. Uh, I, I've been generally satisfied, I think. Um, I think it, it, there, there's always a lack of transparency from governments in general, and I, but I think that sometimes it's needed because to being able to, people don't always know how to analyze data properly or how to treat information properly. And so to, to allow everyone access to every piece of information all, all the time sometimes might not be a good thing. Um, but uh, I personally haven't seen any real issues with transparency from my perspective. Yeah. I think with the nature of the government, with the nature of things, they're as transparent as they can be. Um, I think with government, there's always going to be a level of uh, secrecy, mostly because they're working on stuff, implementing things. Um, could they be a little bit more transparent? Yeah, maybe so. But I think uh, that's just kind of the nature of government. Not at all. We see scandal after scandal, especially with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, with all due respect to him. I think there needs to be a smaller government with more transparency and more power given to the people. Transparency still leaves a lot to be desired, I think, when it comes to the federal government. You know, there's a lot we don't know, and there's a lot they're not telling. There's a lot they're not telling us. I do think federal government is transparent about this decision, way more than a lot of provincial uh, governments. Absolutely not. When they start moving their lips, then we know there's trouble. Well, that's an interesting question. Uh, no, it, it can never be uh, um, good enough. I think that um, the Trudeau Liberals have fallen short of, of their election promises. On, on the other hand, um, I think this period of, of minority government has, has been good for transparency in some, some respects. Uh, certainly has made the uh, parliamentary committees uh, more, more active. The only downside of that is that it also makes governing that much more difficult because the ministries and the government are forever answering to uh, committee processes. So it's a double-edged sword. Anything can be more open and it would be better. But there's a, I mean, I, I worked for government years ago and there's only certain things that you're, you're able to de devolve, that sort of thing. So I, I, don't, uh, I don't see there being a major issue in that regard. You know, every, everything he's questioned on, he doesn't answer the question, he filibusters. Um, you look at some of the dealings he's had and his cabinet, I mean, 
that's what we're hearing. I mean, so you can imagine what we don't see. Um, more government is more corrupt government. I mean, and you see that in countries that are heavily governed. You know, there, there's, it's right from the top down. It can be better, <laughs> but so far they are doing whatever they can do without affecting the, the, uh, the process of governance. That's my feeling is, you know. I think as long as, to me, transparency of federal government, as long as the opposition is doing a good job, I think we come aware of anything that, uh, wouldn't say hiding, but everybody's aware of what they're doing. So I think government is working this way. Now, whether we need an election at this time is debatable because it's status quo, but I think the people have spoken and hopefully a minority government will work again for a while.